it's the crazy Vegas Shime here because they're having an amazing day. So today we are watching the new episode to the Book of Boba Fett, episode and chapter six, uh, with no title, uh, as usual. <laughs> so I'm super excited to jump back into Boba Fett. Obviously, last week we had an incredible episode with our favorite boy. Mando Din Djarin back in the game and it was a fantastic episode but as I said last week I do hope that we sort of move away from Mando's story because though I love the fact that he's back I would love to go back to Boba's story and find out more about what's going on and the war and so on and so forth and whew, I'm super excited but also um as you can see by the makeup my theme is blue today but also because I'm scared because Dave Filoni the king is directing and usually that means it's a good thing, but it's also either an emotional thing or an action-packed thing. So I'm very, very nervous, um, but also excited because I'm ready to cry and I'm ready to scream my head off. So huh, let's just jump straight into it because I'm super excited and huh. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh, come! Take it through. Oh my God, is he gonna help them? I'll give you the <laughs> nice, dude. Good choice. Ah, nice. Sick. From the desert comes a stranger. Oh yeah, besides that, one thing that I was thinking was going to happen was maybe Cad Bane might show up so that we get the showdown between Boba and obviously Cad Bane again. I would love that, but yeah, let's just see what happens. Oh my god, no! Are we act- no, 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 I'm not- oh my god, that's beautiful, but I'm not- why? Why, dude? How long is this episode? Oh, it's like, f it's like 50 minutes, oh god! Is that R2? Dude, I'm not- I'm not prepared! Dude, I actually- Dude, okay, fine. You know what? I know I said I didn't want it this episode, but I want it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, why did I wear this much makeup? Oh my god. Oh my god. The temple. That's pretty sick, dude. I love that. <gasps> Baby! Oh my god! What the hell, dude? That looks so good. Dude, what the frick? That looks- I'm sorry, that looks amazing. Oh my god. 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 I was not ready for this. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> what happened though? Who got him out? Oh my god. We're going to find that out in season three though. Oh. in my mom's clothes. Ugh. Holy crap, dude. I'm not prepared. What the frick? No! Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. Oh my god, they're so close. Right. Are you doing this for me? 
this for Grogu? Or are you doing this for yourself? Oh. And if he sees you, there will only be things more difficult for him. Oh. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, I still can't believe it. So much like your father. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh, um, I'm really fucking emotional. What the heck, dude? This show. Talk about it later. Oh my god. Oof, look at that group of mercenaries. We need foot soldiers. I might be able to help with that. Oh yes, go to Cobb Vanth, of course. Oh, for a sec Jesus! Oh my god! For a hot second I thought that was Han Solo! Jesus Christ, my heart! Holy shit! <laughs> Old friends! Dude, I don't know why I'm smiling so much! <laughs> that so good. Oh my god! That's sick! Uh, you sure about that, mate? <sighs> but I didn't think you were one to back down from bullies. Oh. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that cad? It's cad. It's cad. It's cad. Who else wears that freaking outfit? It's <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever fat is paying you match. And all you got to do is stay put and let things play out. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Lift that head up, sir. Lift that fucking head up. Oh my god. Great cinematography by the way, Dave. Oh, oh, the tension! Someone do something, please! No, don't! <gasps> holy, holy shit! What is this episode, dude? Oh no. She's gonna end up working for them. Oh my god, she looks gorgeous every time! What the hell, dude? Oh, dude, she is stunning. What the hell, dude? Oh, they left something there, didn't they? Oh no! No! I was afraid that was gonna happen! Oh no! Shit! This is very sudden. Oh! Why does that remind me of Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Yoda 
this lightsaber? Oh my god, I have tears in my eyes. Don't you dare! What the frick was this episode, dude? Oh, there's no like credit scene or anything. What? <laughs> what the frick was this episode? Literally, honestly, I will I will say that ending was a bit all over the place. Um, I would have liked if they went back to. I understand what they were doing with the whole Grogu thing, but I would have liked it if they went back and showed what was happening at Boba's palace and showed maybe, oh, well, they wouldn't, well, they would have gotten the reaction about her, her casino thing. Um, so I would have liked that. It felt like just such a disconnect from that. I understand what they were trying to do. I feel like that should have been like an end credit scene. Like, I feel like that would have been better instead of showing this at the very end they should have shown like maybe the reaction of Boba finding out um so that that sort of leads into the next episode and we see Boba's reaction to that other than that that's like my ultimate criticism but holy shit like what the fuck was the rest of this episode like when they said that this episode was gonna be like crazy they meant it holy shit dude um Okay, well, my theory was right about Cad Bane, um, and that was so good. I know that Dave Filoni, obviously everybody knows this, but he loves a good standoff. We saw this last, in not last season, in season one, um, two of Mandalorian with Dave Filoni doing the sixth episode as well. Um, oh, was it the sixth episode? No. Was it the sixth episode? Whatever episode Ahsoka turned up and sh he did that and he did it. There was a standoff between Mando and the, the guard in that one too. And Ahsoka versus the lady. I can't remember her name. But holy shit, dude. <laughs> like uh, my emotions are just all over the place. Like I have so many questions and just like, uh, what? <laughs> um, it was amazing. Honestly, this, this episode was really, really good. Um, again, I sort of, I really would have liked more Boba, because he literally was just in one scene. Um, I would have liked to have seen more of, like, the planning and maybe more involvement from Boba, because, um, not that it feels like it's going in a direction where it's turning into something else. Um, all these cameos are very important. They're showing, obviously, different aspects. It's almost like a movie. It's showing different aspects of the world and stuff. I love that. But I would have loved to have seen more Boba in this episode, at least at that ending. That's my only criticism for the ending. Like, that ending, I would have liked to have seen Boba, like, zoom back into the palace and see, like, oh, like, Fennec maybe gets news or something. Someone gets a message saying, like, oh, like, this place has been attacked. And, you know, like, then it feels a little bit personal because that's where Boba's been going on, like, going to often to check on. Um, and so it would have been nice to have seen sort of his reaction. But I guess we're going to go see that in the next episode. But again, would have liked to see that in this episode so that at least that flows into the next episode. And the ending credit, the ending that we got was the credit scene at the end. So then that sort of is like a mental note for season three of Mando. But yeah, like, this episode was so good and yeah okay let's go from the beginning so i hope that with these ahsoka stuff meeting luke that's obviously probably going to get answered in a ahsoka show towards the end maybe um but as well i was thinking like it's possible that they could have found each other because of the force um because it was dead like how they always say like the force like and fate and all that stuff so i was thinking like maybe it was destined for luke to find Grogu, and it wasn't Ahsoka. Um, so that's why she, she left it for, obviously, Luke to come and help him. But obviously, it's great to see, like, how much of a mentor she is in that little time that we had. I loved that. Um, <clears throat> and just also the bits about us Anakin, because I could already see, like, the sort of the parallels between Luke and Anakin, and especially because, you know, the, ma the, the, the Padawan teaches the master, and just, oh, like, that was perfect, like, I, I absolutely remembered that instantly, and that was a beautiful moment. Um, also, the stuff with, um, Cobb Vanth, it was so good to see him again. He's so cute without the armor on, but he's also just, like, he's also, like, just, like, the marshal, so he is a commendable force, especially in the voice. So that's always incredible. That actor, I, I can't remember the actor's name, but incredible. Um, but also, like, Cad Bane. 
holy shit, dude. Like, I know I said it, but I was like, yeah, nah, I'm probably not. Like, you know, like, it would be so awesome to see him again. But at the same time, he's been so prevalent in Clone Wars and also recently, spoilers for the Bad Batch, but in Bad Batch. So I was like, it makes sense that he shows up because he's a bounty hunter and he'll take the highest job and, you know, he's pretty sick and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, that is pretty awesome. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that, too. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to see him in a, in a, in a fight-off with Boba, which is pretty sick. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's cool, too. <laughs> um, I'm really sad about the casino and I can't can't remember the character's name, that lady, but she's gorgeous. Um, the Twilic, I think that's what you call it. But goddamn, dude, like, it's a direct- I feel like that is a direct hit towards Boba. And he's not gonna be happy next episode when he finds out. Again, I really would have liked if we had seen him at the end there and seen his reaction. Because then I feel like that would have set off the, the, the moment of when this war starts. Because that was a personal hit. So yeah, that is a little bit sad to see that- we didn't get that ending, um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like that ending with Grogu is also like a send-off into season three for Mando, so I hope, again, I really hope, as much as I love seeing that stuff, I really would like to see that more in season three of Mando, um, or even just the Ahsoka show and stuff, whatever happens in that, like, if that's connected to that, but, um, yeah. Whew, that was a lot! <laughs> and also, yeah, it I felt like these these appearances felt so natural. They weren't cameos. Like I had a feeling that we might see Luke in this series, whether it was at the very end. But I just didn't expect to see like it would the Luke CGI was so good too. Like they've improved so much. I know obviously a lot of people had a lot of hate towards season two finale, but this shows great improvement, and I absolutely loved it. <sighs> Dude, like, oh, what the heck? They're, like, spoiling us. I swear to God. Um, but this, again, is so good. I just hope that next episode is more boba oriented Because now we've got everybody. That's great. The end of it. Now let's focus back on Boba. But at the same time, I was going to say, there are a lot of parallels in this show towards even, sort of like, I was thinking even, like, to Django, Django Fett. And even young Boba, um, with the whole Din and Boba situation. Because I know a lot of people were like, why is Din back in the show? But there are so many parallels between Din and Boba. And you can see that just in so many parts of the show. Especially with Din's relationship with Grogu. Um, and also with Django and obviously Boba, like I said. Um, because, um, Django Fett was a great bounty hunter too. And he also would go off and leave Boba and go off and do missions just to, you know do his own thing. Um, and in a way, I love that this, the way that Din left, even though it was a little bit different, Din left knowing that it would sort of like <clears throat> hurt, um, Grogu's chances of being a Jedi, even though he doesn't fully understand it, he was so respectful and left. Um, and I think in a way it's very different, but it, I feel like that parallels the sort of the father bond and the child um, bond that both Boba, Boba had with Jango and Din has with Grogu. And I feel like that's beautiful. Um, that aspect of family again, um, Dave, Dave Filoni always brings that up in his episodes, which I absolutely love. It's beautiful. That's why I got really emotional during that part. Um, and just, yeah, it's so well done. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of, uh, Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett, chapter six. Ugh. Dude, my heart is, yeah, like, why? Like, they're, they're really spoiling us. They really are. Um, this episode was just a treat, a dessert, the best dessert you can get in the, in the menu. Um, so I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next episode. And again, a lot more Boba orientated, I hope. Um, but at the same time, it's been fantastic so far. Absolutely love it. And holy shit. <laughs> So good! <laughs> and yeah, I'm guessing next episode, the war's about to begin. So that's gonna be pretty sick. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because otherwise I can literally sit here talking about all my theories and my thoughts. <gasps> I'm gonna stop. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!